Saber fans. It's your old pal Meg2 Sith and for an instructional video on this Saber. Really quick, this is a M Corbanth MPP. This is a version 1 MPP. This Saber was originally bought and assembled by a 501st Legion Carolina Garrison member. This Saber's also been carried on a lot of troops, so there's a lot of wear and tear on this Saber and these rust spots that you can see. Uh, and also this brass uh, thumb knob here which is not accurate but those are things that uh, I had no control over this uh, bubble strip here I've actually corrected that and fixed it it wasn't accurate the way it was mounted before it is now accurate uh, I did the best I could with it um, I still think it came out pretty good all things considered there's still some goo on there I'm trying to clear off but it does have the the clamp card underneath the bubble strip and I added the solder points on the clamp card. Um, I did not do the paint on the bubble strip, the owner did that. I did add slotted screws here, here, and also in the control box here and here to improve the accuracy. I have a special project here for the 501st Legion. This is a lightsaber for James C.A. who's a Darth Vader in the 501st Legion here in the Carolina Garrison. This saber has a long history with Meg 2 Sith sabers and um, didn't start out good, but I think it's ended good. So, James, this is your NeoPixel Proppy lightsaber for Darth Vader. And I am so proud that James will be carrying one of my sabers as a Darth Vader in the Carolina Garrison. And if you stand by, we're going to roll that beautiful bean footage on this thing. So the first font is Father by Kyber Phonics. Four sounds. I'm sorry, this is Rogue One Vader by K Sith. So let's reactivate the saber with the background tracks. All these fonts have background tracks. Here it is on Rogue One Vader. You're in the movie. Tip drag. Lock, I'm sorry, lock up, localized lock up. You have force lightning lock up. Here's your localized lock up again. Four sounds. Retraction. I'm going to stop the music. So I'm going to reignite this saber. This first font is a color changing blade. I'm going to lock it in. This is also an effects changing blade. It's scrolling through all the various effects, and you can lock in any one of these. <clears throat> that's an unstable, that's a slow fire, fast fire. This is a rain blade, gradient rainbow, and then an audio flicker. I'm going to lock in the audio flicker. You can lock in any one you want. That'll be in the instructional video. Next font is Kyber Phonics, Father. And I believe this is to Imperial March. It is the Father. Lock up. End lock. Blasters. 
tip drag. This is also a color changing blade, an effects changing blade, which means it also has force lockup. There's the force lightning, retraction. Next one is also father, but this one has the background of the throne room from Return of the Jedi. Bam! Local lockup, tip drag. Force Lightning. Clash. Blaster Blocks. Retraction. That is also a color changing blade. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. Next font is Kylo Ren. Lock up, blaster block, four sounds. Background music is Kylo Ren's theme. Retraction, the balance, the balance just a normal blue blade. Localized lock up. Also has force lightning lockup. This is a color changing blade as well. Tip drag. I'm not going to change colors on this one, but it will. Blue. This is also a color changing blade, just the blue one. Tip drag. Not going to change colors on this one. The balance. This is a rain blade, and I'm going to turn the saber off. The background track is rain. All these blades have background tracks. You can either play or not. It's up to you. There's your rain blade. See the rain spattering on the blade. All smooth swing with accent swings. The lock up. Tip drag. Four sounds. Blasters. Retraction. Next one. Standard red blade, localized lockup, force lightning lockup, tip drag, which means this is also a color changing blade. Also changes effects. The balance. This should be my lightning blade. And it is. To Metallica's The Call of Cthulhu. In my opinion, this is the best lightsaber blade in the industry. Blam! Lightning blade. Lock up. Localized lock up. Also has force lightning lock up. Retraction. This is a cycle blade. Color cycle. Just more gimmick stuff. Cantina. Rainbow blade. Wham. There's your rainbow.
for traction. This is your Patriot Blade. Red, white, and blue. Background track is the National Anthem. Traction. This is your Christmas play. Chewbacca singing Silent Night. Red, white, and green candy cane blade. Sorry about my air compressor kicking on there. This is your last blade. This is your battery charger blade. James and Saber's awesome. Stay tuned. We'll show you how to use this thing. I've also added two switches. I've added a switch here in the bulb release box as well as the main uh, switch that comes on the Sabers. This is your main activation. This is auxiliary. And this video will serve as your instructions on how to use your Saber. Number one, to ignite the saber, press the forward button. Oops. Let's get into a font. <laughs> to ignite the saber, press the forward button after the boot plays, and you got it. So swing the saber, you got accent swings, smooth swings, clash the saber. To get a lock up sound, you hold the auxiliary button. To get tip drag, you point the saber down and hold the auxiliary button. To get the force lightning, you clash the saber while you're holding the main power button. That'll give you force lightning on the blades that have it. To get a force sound, double tap the power button. Blaster blocks is a brief press of the auxiliary. To retract the saber, press and hold the power button. If you want music playing while you're messing around with the saber, press and hold the power button for two seconds before you initiate the saber. That starts your background track, then ignite the saber, and you can play with the saber while the music's going. You can only turn the music off when the saber is in its off state. To change fonts, you press the auxiliary button while you're off. That's lock up. The music track on this one is Imperial March. This saber is also equipped with SA2CC's uh, button mods and color changing. Number one, when the saber is in the off condition like this, if you press and hold auxiliary, it'll give you your battery voltage. Press and hold it. 3.93 volts. Currently it's at 3.93 volts. If you press it for two seconds and release, it goes into a series of beeps. Now, you're in volume menu. To increase the volume, auxiliary. Once you hear that different beep, you're as low as you can go, two seconds and off, and you're out of the menu. Now you can ignite and reduce volume.
You can see it's not very loud. So I'm going to turn the volume all the way back up. Two seconds on the auxiliary. And then power button to increase the volume. Once you hear that, you're in full volume. Press and hold the auxiliary for two seconds. And you're out of the volume menu. The Sabre ignites back in full volume. Now, if you ever accidentally get in the volume menu and you're pressing buttons and you're hearing this, you're in the volume menu. So if that ever happens to you, to get out of it, two second press on aux. Get you out of it. Secondly, you have color changing on this saber, and I'm going to demonstrate that with a blade in, so stand by. All right. So I put the blade in and I want to show you that this forward screw is your blade retention. So you want to put your blade in there until it fully seats and you want to hold the blade in there under tension and then tighten that screw. That's your blade retention. Ignite the saber to test and we have ignition. So now I'm going to show you how to do color changing. I'm going to turn the volume down so you can hear me. Okay, so now the volume's down full, uh, as low as it'll go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignite the saber and get it into color changing mode. To get into color changing mode, you press power and then hit aux. Once you do that, you swing the saber to change colors. There's 13 colors in here, including white. Red comes after white. So once you get on white, you want to lock it in, you press power and hold aux and you'll hear that beep. And now the saber is locked in on colors. It doesn't change colors anymore. Now, now I want to change styles so I'm going to press and hold power and rapidly twist the saber. And it should scroll through several different styles. There's a hump flicker, there's a slow fire blade, there's a rain blade, there's a rainbow gradient, and then there's the audio flicker. When you want to lock it in, you just press power and hold auxiliary and that locks it in. Now I'm going to go into blade changing mode again because I want to lock it in on audio flicker. And it's going to scroll through all the blade styles again. To lock it in, I press power and briefly hold aux. You don't have to change colors, but if you want to, that's how you do it. The last bit of instructions on this saber is to replace the battery. This saber is equipped with an MHSV6 chassis. It's friendly for trooping. You want to take the pommel off and then hold your hand over the bottom of the saber, and then the chassis comes out. To change the battery, there's a clear shroud here over the over the chassis and this clear shroud will slide off of the chassis you can see it fully on the chassis there it will slide off of the chassis and into the hilt allowing you access to the SD card the programming port on the Profi and also the important thing on the back side is your battery you can't buy cheap you cannot buy cheap batteries for the slate saber it will trip the circuits or ruin the electronics. If you use anything in here except for a Keep Power 18650 that's a 15 amp continuous discharge protected circuit battery, I will not guarantee the Saber at all. So if you buy cheap 18650s, you're going to be in a world of hurt. You're going to ruin the Saber. Do not cheap out on batteries. You must buy the proper battery. Secondly, you're going to have to buy your own charger. You can get these chargers on Amazon for 18650s and they plug in with a normal USB or other uh, power cord just like you charge your cell phone with. And these chargers cost about 10 or $12 so you'll need these. So again, you can get these Keep Power 18650s from illum.com, I-L-L-U-M.com and when you get the proper battery and if you have two for troops that should be sufficient. Take your battery, pop it in the chassis, should hear a boot, 
And then you bring your clear shroud over the profi and over the battery all the way down to the end of the chassis, just like that. Gently insert the chassis into the saber, put the pommel back on, and you're in business. Again, this saber is for 501st Legion member James C.A. It's very important that you pay attention to my directions as well as the additional batteries that you need as well as the charger. Congratulations. May the force be with you or the dark side is at work.